Hello chess lovers, Soren here and I have a fantastic game for you from 2018 Russian Championship Super Final. With the white piece is playing Ernesto in our Kiev and his opponent is Daniel Dubov. Now let's see what happened on the board. In our Kiev started the game with d4 and knight f6 by Dubov, knight f3, g6, c4, black is fianche to ink his bishop and then is castling king side bishop e2, c5, black is challenging white center, d5, now comes e6, knight c3 and after e takes d5, c takes d5, d6, the position is taking the shape of modern Benoni defense. With his last move black created a queenside pawn majority whose advance will be supported by fianche to the bishop on g7, white castles king side bishop g4, black will now exchange the light squared bishop which is usually hindering black's development, knight d7, queen c2, a6, black wants to bring into life this b5 idea but white is acting against that idea, a4, c4, this time Dubov is freeing the c5 square for the knight, a very standard idea, bishop e2, rook c8, a5, white is grabbing more space, is taking under control b6 square and is not allowing black to breathe. Rook c5, now that rook is coming after this both pawns, queen a4 and rook e8. By the way, instead of rook e8, if move like knight takes d5, then after knight takes d5, rook takes d5, queen takes c4. Rook takes a5 and after the exchange of rooks on a5 square, rook d1. Though in this land black is managing to win a pawn, but the pawn on d6 is weakened, white has a bishop pair and an active position which compensates the pawn loss. Let's go back after queen a4, that's why rook e8 was played which is actually stronger. Rook d1, well as you have noticed the pawn on c4 was hanging but actually bishop takes c4 is losing on the spot. Can you find the winning move for black? Ready? After b5, actually, black is managing to win a piece. Let's go back. After rook e8, that's why we see rook d1. Now comes knight e4. Black is opening up the bishop's diagonal. Later, this bishop is going to play a very important role in the game. Rook takes e4, bishop d2, f5, queen a3, rook b5. A very risky move. Actually, f4 could have led to quieter lines, but in the game we see rook b5. The pawn on b2 is now hanging, rook b1, now comes rook b3 and queen a2. A very passive move after which black is gaining advantage. It was better to capture on d6, though actually this line leads to very complex positions and probably in our Kiev didn't manage to calculate up to the end. Now if bishop e5 then white has this queen e6 check. If king g7 then simply bishop takes c4, if rook takes c4 then d6. And if queen g8 then queen takes d7 check. Or after bishop takes c4, if move like rook takes b2, then again d6. If bishop h2 check, then king takes h2. If rook takes e6, then first bishop c3 check. If knight f6, then rook takes b2. And then after rook b7 check, king h6, rook b1. The engine gives white a huge plus 2 advantage. But in our Kiev missed his chance, he didn't go for this line. Instead, he played this passive looking queen a2 move. Now comes knight c5, f3, white wants to kick away the rook from this active e4 square and capture the pawn, but instead of moving away his rook, Dubov went for this devastating c3 move, he's sacrificing the rook, f takes e4, after which white's position is collapsing. Well, b takes c3 could have been better if rook takes b1, then queen takes b1, and actually white is managing to fight back. But after c3 we see f takes e4 and now comes c takes d2 and actually white's position is deteriorating. At any moment the queen can join the attack and this is going to be catastrophic. For example now if rook takes d2 then queen g5. It's difficult to find a good continuation for white, the dark squares are weakened and this is going to be crushing. After c takes d2, bishop c4 was played, but now comes another fantastic move, this time queen g5, Dubov is offering the second rook. Bishop takes b3 was played, now comes queen takes e3 check, king h1 and knight takes e4. 
the knight is eyeing on f2 square. For example, if we move like queen a4, the knight f2 check, and then the bishop is coming, it's over. Let's go back after knight e4. Rook f1 was played, white is covering the f2 square, but after bishop e5, in our Kiev resigned. Right now, there are so many threats like knight g3 check or queen g3. And if we move like rook f3, then this time queen e1 check finishes up white. If rook f1, then queen g3, and the game is over. A very, very impressive attacking game by Daniel Dubov. Of course, nowadays you won't see such type of double rook sacrifices every day, which means that definitely this game will be treasured in chess books. Thanks for watching. Here are more suggestions for you. For more games, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video.